Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me for today's snapshot. Today we're going to be looking at FXM's Japanese Yen basket. It really moved last week, but as we'll see this week, it looks as if all that strength has been undone. Before we get on to the analysis, please take note of the following important information. Please note that CFDs are high-risk products and that you should be completely aware of the risks that they pose. Also, please note that this is a general market commentary only and does not constitute investment advice. And finally, these are our sources of information. Okay, thank you very much for that. Now, the FXM Japanese Yen basket measures the performance of the Japanese Yen against Pound, Canadian Dollar, Euro, US Dollar and the Aussie. And last week, Thursday, Friday, it showed immense strength and it ended the week 1.77% higher. However, however, it looks as if all that has been undone this week. Let's take a look at the chart. All right, so what we have here is the Japanese Yen basket weekly. Here is the show of strength last week and then you can see how it has uh, been decimated. Really sold down this week. A few things to note and uh, draw your attention to the fact that the, the weekly stochastic is um, just move that there the weekly stochastic is in the lower quintile which is the area where the momentum is pushing downwards and you can see that the japanese yen basket on the weekly chart really has a strong downtrend and i've got three exponential moving averages here and you can see that they're in a bearish stack with a fast green below the intermediate orange, which is below the slow red. Now, what we'll do is we'll just combine these two candles and we'll get some really interesting uh, information from that. So just to, just to confirm, we're going to take last week's candle and this week's candle and combine them with the caveat that this week's candle hasn't completed. It's only, it's only Wednesday. But uh, what we'll do is we'll take the range. So the range will be last week's low and this week's high. So have something that looks like this. We'll take the open from, and we'll take the close from this week. And I uh, just want to reiterate, this close um, is not the actual close yet because it's only the middle of the week. But as we are recording this, you can see that the bulls took price all the way up to the high that's where they promptly lost control bears have then taken over and really pushed the japanese yen basket down and it looks as if we have what's called a gravestone doji just want to go through to the hourly chart and you can see on the hourly chart we do have an oversold condition here so the close may move up if that hourly over, oversold condition normalizes. Let's just end off with some key takeaways. Okay, so after a strong show of strength last week, the Japanese yen, the Japanese yen basket has now been faded. And whilst the longer term momentum shows that there is a bias towards weakness, we do note that short term it is oversold. Any bounces from here though are likely to be compelling for shorts. Hope you found the snapshot useful. If you did, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I want to thank you for joining me this week and I look forward to speaking with you again in the near future.